All right, welcome back, everybody. I don't know why I was trying to take my glasses off. We are continuing season five. We're on episode four tonight. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what's going on. I don't remember what's going on. Aria is in the. Oh, yeah, Aria's in. Because my brain takes a while to warm up. Black and, <laughs> like black and white door. Turn the yeah. keys on. Um, she was sweeping the floor. Oh, yes, yeah, but now he ain't gave a look. And then that old girl whacked her with a stick. Yeah, yeah, that would that would have she would have got punched back. Uh, Stannis is yeah. I'm going to Winterfell. Yeah, um, um, uh, Jon Snow is the Lord Commander of the Wall. Yep, yeah. Daenerys is still in Marine. Mm hmm. Oh, Tyrion got kidnapped. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tyrion did get From, kidnapped. What's his name? Jorah. Thinking, you know, I was thinking he's uh, taking you to the queen. I was thinking he was talking about Thursday, yeah. but he's actually talking to about Daenerys. Daenerys. Daenerys, right? Because that's who he loves. Yeah. And that could be back in his, get him back in her good graces, right? That's a good theory. We'll have to well, wait and see what happens. Yeah. Well, I was, because I was, maybe it's two queens. Actually, three. Well, he probably don't know that Cersei's queen. Well, so. Oh, or he's in, well, or queen mother, whatever you want to call her. Yeah. Old hag. Oh, yeah. We met the, <laughs> we met the uh, High Sparrow last, last episode. The leader of the fanatics, mm-hmm. the monk people, kind of. Oh, yeah. Uh, that religious group. Yeah. Um, that's about it. That's about it. So let's get started. Let's see what episode for Sons of the Harpy. Uh oh. That don't sound promising. That's them people that killed that Unsullied guy. Did you have to bury her in a place like this? Boltons have one to fell. You'll be marrying his son and heir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want you to be happy, Mother. But wouldn't you be happier in Castle you Rock? <laughs> Where can I find the High Sparrow? The High Septon's behavior was corrosive. <laughs> Hypocrisy is a boil. Glancing a boil is never pleasant. No, it's serious. Not that I've ever had one, but I've glanced a boil before. <laughs> Your brother was murdered. Oberyn was slain during a trial by combat. I bring our daughter home. A one-handed man. Alone. I never said I was going alone. Sons of the Harpy. They want to put a collar back on all of our necks. All they understand is blood. Lantis <laughs> is a large city. The likelihood of you being spotted here increases a hundredfold. <laughs> I'm taking you to the Queen. See? So no, you're I taking can't. her to... I think he's taking Yeah, because he wanted to be back in her good graces. Uh-huh. I mean, that's my theory. Because why you go all the way back to the other queen? They probably have your head. You know? Yeah. I'm just saying. What's that? That's, that's something new I see. The snake. The Dorn. I think that was Dorn saying snakes. I don't know. I want to pay no much attention. <laughs> and the crickets are frogs. Oh, look at him. He does what he does best. The money, isn't that the reason why he got cast out? Because he was stealing? Why oh, you're selling slaves. Yeah. And now he's stealing a boat. Yeah. Damn, Tyrion, how long did it take to cut through a rope on a sword? Oh. And he just threw him over like he's like a bag of potatoes. I know, right? <laughs> Big old sack of onions. Is that Estimont? Ah, Sir Jamie Tyrion. Yes, Sapphire Why are we on a merchant ship? Why no Lannister sail? You ever been to Dorne? No. I have. The Dornish are crazy. <laughs> I'm not saying that what he did. <laughs> Now we're going to be doing a lot of fighting, I'm sure. Well, I am. <laughs> so, well, I am. We're not kidnapping that princess. We're rescuing my niece. Your niece? <laughs> he said, 
that. Now you know everybody know. <laughs> He's like, Jamie's like, where it's the fuck up. <laughs> that still doesn't explain what you're doing here. It has to be me. <laughs> you set your brother free, didn't you? <laughs> I bet your sister didn't like that. Paris set him free. Who set him free? Paris. If you ever see the wee fucker, <laughs> give him my regards. If I ever see him, I'll split him in two. Hmm. For real? Really? Jamie? The Iron Bank has called him one tenth of the Crown's debt. How much can the Crown afford? Half what they ask. How do we pay them? Well, House Tyrell could front the gold and the, the Crown would pay us back in time or I'd have words with my daughter. Oh, Lord. <laughs> now, we must arrange better terms with the Iron Bank. We must send an envoy to the Iron Bank, someone of importance, to show these bankers our respect. As the King's Master of Coin, I can think of no one more qualified. <laughs> He's ordered Samarin to personally lead your escort. Mm-mm. She gonna kill him. She, is he that dumb? She gonna kill him. She gonna have him killed. Small council grows smaller and smaller. Not small enough. <laughs> he looked this. <laughs> May I offer you some wine, Your Holiness? No. Oh. Mm. How may I serve? In the days before the Targaryens, the faith militant dispensed the justice of the seven. An army that defends the bodies and souls of the common people. You and I both know how the world works. Too often the wicked are the wealthiest, beyond the reach mm. of justice. All sinners are equal before the gods. What would you say if I told you of a great sinner in our very midst, shielded by gold and privilege? Oh, she's gonna talk about the what? The queen? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> no, what got it done? Breaking all the wine, kids. Caskets. Who is this? Help me! Hmm. Dying. Oh, dying. I mean, what makes them? Mm. This is not Peter Bellish's establishment. Oh. Hmm. But it's gonna be bad, huh? Oh, boy, fucker. Hmm. Who's supposed to be? Who is he? I don't know. I thought he was already like that. Oh, Lord. Get your hands off me! Sir Loris of House Tyrell, you have broken the laws of gods and men. Who do you think you are? Justice. Oh, wow. Why is my brother in a cell? I don't know. I, I didn't talk. You told me she was returning to Casterly Rock. Are you saying my mother's behind this? Aren't you and mother getting along? I can't bear to think of my brother locked away in some grimy cell. I'll set him free for you. I demand that Sir Loris be freed now. Did I arrest him? Well, no. When's she gonna die? I'm mean, just like, really? Can't allow fanatics to arrest the Queen's brother no matter if his perversions. Then you're the king. I'm sure if you speak to the High Sparrow, he'll release the poor boy. <laughs> I know she ain't gonna have a son killed, is she? Uh, move out the way. This is a king. Move your love. Look at there. His holiness is praying. If the boy. order and we'll clear out this rabble. Order it. Order it. Kill them. Here at the step. Yeah. Hmm. Bastard! Hmm. Now she did that to put for real. Filthy bastard! Hmm. We'll find another way. She knew exactly what she was doing. There was no way to free Solaris without violence. You're the king of the Andals, the lord of the seven kingdoms, the protector of the realm. And you let a band of fanatics imprison your brother by law. Hmm. Speak with the high sparrow. Are you? When? when he come out of prayer, apparently. I have to send word to grandmother. Will you come back later? No. I need to be with my family, Your Grace. <laughs> you think highly of this boy. Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. I want her dead, man. Perhaps. But that wasn't Ned Stark's way. I should have given you a son. Not your fault. Whose son? Why are you always blaming the child? 
Her father's the Lord's chosen king. And her father's blood runs through her veins. Yeah, dummy. <laughs> Once before you put your faith in Sir Devos and left me behind. I hope you won't make that mistake again. I won't. <clears throat> Lord Ashford, Lady Caulfield, Lord Smallwood. Never even heard of these people. Well, they haven't heard of you either. <laughs> we need men and they have some. <clears throat> Not him. And Ruth Bolton's the warden of the north. You murdered my brother. We swore to be the watchers on the wall. <laughs> we can't watch the wall with 50 men. And we can't get more men without help from the warden of the north. Hmm. Now, you know better than that, Sam. All right. Need yeah, all them papers, and you can't tell me you can't come up with... Apologies, my lady. Lord Commander. How can I help you? Come with us when we ride south. None of us know the castle as well as you do. Winterfell was your home once. Don't you want to chase the rats out of it? Mm-hmm. Castle Black is my... I shall do. Night's Watch take no part in the wars of the Seven Kingdoms. There's only one war, life against death. Let me show you what you're fighting for. You're gonna show me some vision in the fire. Mm. Forgive me, my lady. I don't trust in visions. No vision, no magic, just life. Oh my God. <laughs> really? Are we trying to pawn herself off on somebody, huh? Now, what's Dana's gonna say? She said she ought <laughs> Dana's stupid. <laughs> Do you feel my heart beating? There's power in you. Let me just know. Look, 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 he up there like, yeah. <laughs> boy, if you don't. But boy, if you don't put yourself away. <laughs> the Lord of Light made us male and female. Oh, Stan is walking now. <laughs> power to make life and power to cast shadows. I don't think Stannis would like that very much. I can't. Girl, get. I swore a vow. Get your raggedy tail up off of me. I'm sure he didn't need to say. You ain't loving too much when you're filling up that breast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just saying. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Hmm. They always tell him they're nothing. And then what? What's That's Tom why Ray used to tell him all the yeah. time. I think she used to do that too. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> I know she ain't making her way back to him. <laughs> Are you lonely? Just bored. My father used to tell me that boredom indicates a lack of inner resources. Were you bored a lot too? <laughs> I know Mother didn't want to bring me. Why did you say that? Because she said it. <laughs> told me I don't want to bring you. Are you ashamed of me, Father? Tell the truth. When you were an infant, a Dornish trader landed on Dragonstone. His goods were junk except for one wooden doll. I still remember how you smiled when I put that doll in your cradle. And you pressed it to your cheek. By the time we burnt the doll, it was too late. Oh, so it was witchcraft? No, I guess the, it had the grayscale on it. Oh. Everyone advised me to send you to the ruins of Valyria. I told them all to go to hell. I called in every maester on this side of the world. They stopped the disease and saved your life. Your mama does. And you are my daughter. No. Oh. oh. You better hug that child. <laughs> He's not the most loving guy. I mean, me and Nate. Who's back there? I thought I might find you here. Your Aunt Liana. Father yeah. never talked about her. I saw her once. Lord Went held the great tourney at Harrenhal. She was already promised to Robert. When Rhaegar won, everyone cheered for their prince. He rode past his wife, and he laid mm. a crown of winter roses in Lyanna's lap. He liked telling stories, don't he? Mm -hmm. Many tens of thousands had to die because Rhaegar chose your aunt. And then he kidnapped her and raped her. Come, let's speak somewhere the dead can't hear us. Mm -hmm. Do you want me at hearing you? <laughs> Where are you going? King's Landing. Cersei sent for me. We mustn't let her sniff out any trouble. But it won't be for long. Stannis Baratheon garrisons at Castle Black. He has to take Winterfell. You don't know that. I do. How do you know that? 
You think he'll defeat the Boltons? He has a larger army. A betting man would put his money on Stannis. Oh, Lord. They don't... Somebody down there listening, probably. And what if you're wrong? What if Stannis never attacks Winterfell, or he does, and the Boltons defeat him? Then you will take this Bolton boy, Ramsay, and make him yours. His father frightens me. Are you sure? He's already fallen for her. I seriously doubt that. He's sick and he. I'll return before too long. You'll be strong without me. Damn, Peter Fowl. You know. Don't be dead. He probably end up dead and won't come back to her and she end up in the hell with him. I'll be a married woman by the time you return. Mm -mm. And I know somebody down there sneaking in. You know. <laughs> he look like he having a hard time. Like anybody in oh. Look, I'm having a hard time here, buddy. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Dang. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would have been a shit way to die. Mm. About you. What shit way would you choose? In my own keep, drinking my own wine, watching my sons grovel for my fortune. I thought you'd have something more exciting planned. I've had an exciting life. I want my death to be boring. Mm. How do you want to go? In the arms of the woman I love. Mm. She wants the same thing. Well, no way, sister. For real. She's psychotic. Captain of that ship, what was he? Bravo, see? And so she. Why? What's to stop him from docking down the coast and telling the locals that Jamie Lannister is in Dawn? A bag of gold. I'm not sure you understand how much people hate your family in this part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it down to us. How many you count? Four. How many do you think you can take? One, <laughs> if you're slow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Morning, lads. Well, glad we found you. Who are you? Cooper. This is Darnell. Cooper and Darnell. <laughs> Why are you here? Our ship capsized in the night. <laughs> Throw your sword in the sand. Point us in the right direction. We'll find our way home. Source in the sun. Now. Mm -mm. Oh, love. Whoa. We eat the horsey baby. Yeah. That one should be slow enough. <laughs> Oh, really? You better flip him up. Or punch him in the head. Face with your Jimmy. metal hand. I d oh, Lord. I guess it came in handy. Wow. Nice move. Luck. You had a wonderful teacher. <laughs> no, it won't come out. I better wear their outfits. I'm just saying. We're right to the water gardens with a nice breeze in our face. First, we need to bury these bodies. Corpses raise questions, questions raise armies. We're not here to start a war. Do you know how long it'll take us to dig all those holes? I can't dig very well with one hand. <laughs> Bro, like, I got the shit in of this stick. Oh my god. <laughs> Mama. <clears throat> Will it be war? We must avenge Oberyn ourselves. Queen Cersei loves her children. And we have one of them. You may have a problem. Ooh. A ship's captain who found me in Planky Town claiming he had information to sell. He told me he smuggled Jamie Lannister into Dorne. Mm. He's come from Marcella. You must choose Doran's way and peace or my way and war. Mm. I'm with you, always. 
Nim. Hmm. Obara. When I was a child, Oberon came to take me to court. Hmm. Oberon tossed his spear at my feet and said, Girl or boy, we fight our battles. God damn! <laughs> what? I made my choice long ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take this gag off. <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> Thank you. Who are you? Your captor. You're going the wrong way. My sister's in Westeros. I'm not taking it to your sister. Said you were taking me to the Queen. I am. Queen Daenerys Targaryen. I can call you. I can call you. Bye. <laughs> What a waste of a good kidnapper. Uh, so happens I was heading there myself. So, now that it's clear we are on the same side. <laughs> I told you, because he in love with her. A highborn knight from the north of Westeros. Dragon epaulets, bare sigil breastplate. You're Jorah Mormont. How exactly were you serving your queen in a whorehouse half a world away? <laughs> Is it possible that you were running? Oh, wait. You were spying on her, weren't you? <laughs> you passed notes to Varys's little birds. <laughs> she found out, didn't she? Now you hope to win back her favor with a gift. He always doing it though. Have you yeah. noticed that? He, that's why he was spying on, so he can get back. Yeah. You think Daenerys will execute me and pardon you? I'd say the reverse is just as likely. <laughs> really? You gonna put the gag back on this? <laughs> <laughs> What you get mad at him for? You old fart? Really? That's one way to get him to shut up. Everyone looks happy enough from up here. <laughs> what? I was thinking about all the times your brother made me go with him down from the Red Keep into the streets of King's Landing. We like to walk among the people. We like to sing to them. Rhaegar would pick a spot on the hook. Rhaegar was mad, wasn't he? <laughs> No, I'll just dead it. I'm dead. He was good. He was very good. Viserys never told you. <laughs> he told me Rhaegar was good at killing people. Rhaegar never liked killing. He loved singing. Your Grace. <laughs> His dawn is here, waiting in the audience chamber. How many others are there? Uh, Fifty. A hundred. Go, Sir Barristan. Sing a song for me. Your Grace. <laughs> you don't kill him. He sing a <laughs> All men must die. But not all can die in glory. Is that what you used to tell men before you set them to butchering each other for sport? Your grace, today is the traditional start of the fighting scene. Traditions are the only thing that will hold this city, your city, together. Mm -hmm. He just pissed me off because he always... Former slaves and former masters have nothing in common. Nothing but centuries of mistrust and resentment. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't trust her. Mm -mm. Trust none of them. She's the one that's in on killing the. See? No, she wasn't. It was a different one. Wasn't it? No, that's the one. Oh, Lord. They got, is Grey Warm in there? Oh, my God. Mmm. Honestly, I think that man that who always coming up to her, her telling about these doggone traditions are the reason why this has happened. Please don't let Grey Worm die. Please don't let him die. Please don't let him die. Mm. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. He gonna die. You're old for it, ain't he got no? But that's what she get for killing that boy and not them. I'm just saying. Oh, oh my God. Not great one, please. Oh, Lord. 
Алло? Омага! That's what she was supposed to do. Kill them all. I'm freaking playing around these people. He'd be here to somebody. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> This is what she get because she killed the, the slave and not, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, she fucks. Zombie. It's not like queen she is. That's some bull crap. That's some bull crap. That's some bull crap. All them people and then Grey Worm get hurt to death. What's his name get hurt? Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty tough scene right there. That's some so bull crap. Two of her top people taken out. Well, I don't know if they did now. Oh, I don't know if they did either. Because they seem like they were moving. Especially Grave Worm. You know, they could do their little patching up, you know, get him. Oh, yeah, Stafford did. Both of them did. She never knew. That's some bull crap. She should let them dragons go. Round up, get the rest of her people. Round them up. Like they're in the middle of the field, outside the gate in front of everybody see them and let them dragons just push them off. Yeah, she wanted to do something. She's, that's the re she's the reason why that happened. Oh, okay. yeah. Because you then, killed that slave boy. Then killed her. Then killed her, yeah. yeah. Because now the people, the the rich people, the masters, they think they for her. And I promise you, that little Afro person, <laughs> wearing person, I can't pronounce he's that. behind it all. I guarantee you he's behind it all. He's manipulative. He's behind it all. I'm just saying he's behind it all. And he should be the first one that she should chop off his head. Y'all ain't got no counsel no more. Chop his head off. I'm just saying. I'm very pissed about this. Because what she did was stupid. Yeah. Now look at the result. Look at the consequence of it. Yeah, it's pretty bad. See? If she listened to him and stopped trying to... See? She's too young to be ruling anything. Because <laughs> she ain't listening. Yeah. And you... His old tail. I mean, rightfully so, she should have, but come on now. You had with them, you had a good person. And uh, oh, not so good. We should show them, you know, mercy. Yeah. No mercy. Did you exile the person who had influence with you to do the right thing? Yeah, I don't think Jor would have. Let her kill that guy. He probably would have told her something different. Yeah. You know, Barrison, he tried to convince her to do other stuff, but she wouldn't listen to him either. Yeah. So That's why I thought. She's going to do what she's going to do, want to do. And you know why she doing not what she's supposed to do? Because she distracted. Get sex from the other guy. <laughs> I'm telling you, sex is a distraction, man. Yeah. Why y'all think that? With, with athletes and stuff, they tell them, y'all need to abstain from this stuff while we get your head in the game. You know what I'm saying? Just, somebody need to school. They got Jamie doing it, Dorn. Got... <laughs> I'm surprised Jamie didn't die. Oh, yeah, he got lucky right there with that hand mm -hmm. catching that sword. He got very lucky. So you got the interior with Tyrion and Jor. Yeah. He figured out who his captor was pretty quick. Got knocked out for it. You mm. <laughs> uh, got Oberyn's children and 
Terramore planning to start a war. Yeah, and you have uh, you got the red woman trying to seduce John. He almost fell for it. But... You weren't you weren't loving on him when he was um, filling up that titty. I'm just saying. And then you got you have um you got a little finger and Lord Bailey's. You have uh, Marjorie's brother that has. Oh yeah, he got locked up. He got those fanatics. But the queen. And this is the thing. I don't trust Starsky at all. Well, you see how weak weak of a King Tom and are going to be. When's Starsky going to die? That's all I want to know. Not soon enough. I know these things will be smoother. Without her, up uh, less evil without her. Yeah. You know, she need to die. She need to die. And then that freaking cousin. Boy, you should have been, you, they should have did something to you, but they converted you, apparently. Yeah. It must have been shot out of you. Hmm. I don't know what they did to him, but that or Cersei did it to him, drove him to craziness. Mm-hmm. You know what? Crazy leads to crazy. What she gonna do is sleep with the next cousin. Yeah. And the cousin after that, and the cousin after that. I don't know how many cousins I got left. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised she ain't sleeping with her uncle. So yeah. He wasn't gonna listen to her. Uh, uncle Kevin, he don't put up with Cersei. He's like, I don't have to listen to you. He said, You little evil. He see her for who she truly is. He know the truth. Huh? I think he know the truth is. And he said, and he think of her as an abomination too. You know, he that's why he didn't listen to her. Against the kings. Well, king ain't gonna do nothing. I'm just saying. And I'm thinking, why she sent off Marjorie's dad to the what Iron Clads? I think she sent him off so she can do what she wants to do. So she could do that to Loris. But why she sent him? Because he he look he a he a killer. I don't know why. King guard. I don't know why she sent him. But it ain't like if he stayed, he would have been able to do anything because that dude, old Mace Tyrell, he's a freaking fool. Mm. He's so dim witted. And I should have a word with the queen. Anyway, this was a good episode. Kind of pissed at the end. <laughs> kind of. Kind of pissed at the end. Um, but thank you guys for joining us on this journey. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, thumbs up, like, and comment. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye.